Hello, hello. So we're getting started. Please, the ones at the entrance, you're gladly invited to join us over here. Um, for the rest of you, hi everyone. My name is Chris Grossman. I'm the CEO and co-founder of Beekeeper. It is a great pleasure for me to welcome you to this second Bee Social event. Um, after the first one in February, we were surprised to see how many people we got, but we are now even more surprised to see how many registrations we got for this event. Um, most of them, or most of you, are coming from HR departments, internal communications, from smaller companies, startups, all the way up to large companies. So we have a really rich audience here. We're very, very excited. And uh, before we get started, just a few notes. So we're going to be speaking English, but please feel free to uh, participate in German. That's absolutely no problem. Swiss German as well. What sort? Even Spanish for couples. <laughs> Good. So the second thing is, if you're going to be tweeting, please use the hashtag BeSocial. And if you need internet, we have wireless connection. Um, that's the data. So you can log in in the Hopcast with the username Hopcast. And um, the password is Go Summerpreneurs with S, capital S. Okay? Good. So for those of you who doesn't know us, um, we are Beekeeper. We're an ETH spin-off company um, based in Zurich, just a few blocks away from here in Techno Park. We're a group of people passionate about the topic of engagement and how new technologies can help improve engagement. Um, especially um, using new technologies and channels like mobile channels. We have built an engagement platform to help companies create new connections, new relationships, and increase engagement within the organizations in a private and secure way. So that is what we do. And be before handing over to Karsten, I would like just to outline why we chose these two topics of employee engagement and internal communications. So the topic of employee engagement is a topic that actually concerns large companies as well as smaller companies and startups like us. So it's really not um, obvious how to go about it. So that's really something that concerns all of us. And the company cannot be small enough to not think about how can I get my team really motivated, engaged, and passionate about what they're doing on a daily basis. Um, because especially for a startup, if one person misses it, that's a large part of the company who's not um, <laughs> delivering and it has a huge impact. Now imagine what happens with larger companies, organizations, economies, um, when this effect actually adds up to a global scale. So there are estimations that this effect costs alone in the US over $500 billion. That's a lot of money. It's like Switzerland's GDP. Um, in terms of what is not being produced because of this effect. So we think it's actually quite a massive problem. We want to address it and make a contribution to solve it. So that's why we, we have this event. And the other one is um, internal communications. Why internal communications? As we will see from our great two speakers coming um, with Sonny and Pierre, it's really not about having just one silver bullet that solves everything, but rather having a mix, a holistic and strategic approach to this. And at some point, you have to deliver your message and get it across to your organization. But now consider the fact that only one out of every four employees in the world are what we call knowledge workers. So people, probably like most of us, sitting in front of a computer with a workplace that you can actually quite easily reach. That doesn't mean it's easy to engage them, but you have a variety of channels on how to engage them. On the other side, the other three workers around the world, three out of four, that is 2.1 billion people, um, they are what we call not knowledge workers in the sense they are out in the field, talking to customers in the front lines, they have a huge impact on the businesses, and it's much harder to reach out to them, to communicate them and get these messages across. So that is why we're also very much interested into this topic that concerns pretty much um, every third person in the world.